Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in and having a look if you haven't looked before. But today we're looking at just finishing off the um, labs and then starting on the lab crew. So the crew I've got just here. So we're just going to tidy up these machine guns. I've painted half of them with the black that I'm going to use while primer and half of the brown. So we can sort of just speed up that process a little bit. So and we'll paint the jerry cans and stuff too. First colour I'm going to use is black primer and I'll be using a 5-0 brush. Uh, sorry for not posting a video in the last few days, just um, had a couple of things on and yeah, just had to come to a bit of a stop, but I'm back and we're making heaps of videos. So I've just got a little bit of paint there in that palette you can see off to the right. And I'll just dip it, dip that 5-0 brush in that, just get a little bit of paint on it. And the two here on the left, I've painted the machine guns already. And this is just, yes, like I said, it's been out that process. So I'm just going to go along and paint the machine gun. And the, the machine gun used uh, by the Australian Army is a uh, Mag 58. And they're sort of black with a brown wooden buttstock. So let's go along and paint them. This is slightly different to the the barrel colour of the actual Lav Twenty Five, so you can sort of see a bit of a di a bit of a distinction between the two. That's why I did it. So I did that machine gun real dark black, and then doing that barrel on the Lav Twenty Five, the the twenty five millimeter chain gun, a little bit different colour. It's sort of you just notice that some people will notice that, and I think it's nice to just change that colour up a bit. So just get a nice coat of that on there. Don't do that. And try not to get any on that ammunition box. Almost all ammunition boxes in Australian military service are green. So we try and leave that as green as we can. So once I've done that, that's sort of all the color I'll do on the on the machine guns with that black primer. So I'll just rinse this brush out and I'll just slide that palette down a bit. You can see I've got water there in that little cell of this palette tray and I'll just give it a quick rinse out. Nothing too dramatic. And then I move on to the next color and this, Oh, the silly colour, the label's worn off, but any brown, like a light brown or that sort of mud brown sort of colour. So you can just use any of those colours, just give it a good shake. Get a little bit on the palette. Now the labs are almost done, so soon I'll be starting on the crew. And then I just go around and paint the buttstock of those machine guns. Um, I'll be starting on the crew and for the labs, this is just about as far as I'm going to take them. I'll do some final weathering right at the end over the, all the vehicles and the crew once they're on. And um, tone down colours like these straps on the back here and things like that. So, they're, they're almost complete and you could just waiting for paint to dry and stuff. You could probably paint up some in just a couple days if you want. The reason I break down the videos is I don't like them to be too long. So that's our that's our machine guns done on the top. I'll sort of turn them to the side and get a bit of a better look at them. So that's our machine guns uh, done. And then what I'll do is uh, rinse that brush out again. And then I'm going to go to Soviet Green. And Soviet Green, I'm just going to tidy up the... My Soviet Green doesn't look too good. I think it needs a, a really good shaker. It's been sitting for a little bit. The What I'll do then is paint these jerry cans. So you can see on this vehicle, that jerry can is two different colours. And 
it wouldn't be like that. It'd be just one color and they'd switch them out between vehicles and you know, they'd drop them off at places to be refilled and all that sort of stuff. So it's, yeah, like swap them over. So I'm just painting them this Russian uniform just so we can keep that camouflage pattern on the actual lab itself. But we've painted the fuel can, jerry can, whatever you want to call it, a different color because they, yeah, they would swap them around. So, so I'll just go across all the vehicles, just touch them up if any need it. A couple I painted already just to speed up that process. So just have a look anywhere there might be black where we crossed over with that black on them. Just make them pop out a little bit. Oh my God. Sorry, didn't mean to drop the, the vehicle. So yeah, any, any of those areas, touch them up. And those straps are a little bit green, but um, we'll tone that down with a, with a wash. And this Soviet green is also on the ammunition boxes. So that's um, just touching up the labs. And then I'll rinse that brush out just in the palette again with that, that cell with water. And I'll put that brush away. And then I'm just gonna change to a number one brush. And I'm gonna go back to that black primer. This black primer, give it a good shake. And I'm gonna just hand brush paint the crew. I mean, we've got six crew here, four labs. We won't need them all because uh, Battlefront only give you that one open hatch across the vehicles, but that's cool. So that means we've got crew for other vehicles later on. So I'll just move these labs back. And I'll just go across and I'm just gonna brush paint them. Instead of, normally I'd spray paint primer on them, but um, I'm just gonna brush these guys. And I'll do them on the sprue, so. I won't take them off till the end when we need to cut them off. Then we'll work out which ones we're gonna use. So we won't come back to these guys for a couple of videos because uh, I'll let that primer really dry. And we're gonna do the Australian Army three, or the, the um, DPCU, the disruptive camouflage pattern on them, so. But we'll do them all brush painting, so different to some of the other stuff we've done. So once I'm sort of happy with that, sometimes it doesn't hurt to let them dry and then just come back and go, oh, Mr. Bit, do another coat. So I like to give them half an hour or so to dry. So depending on the weather, we're expecting more extreme heat down here in South Australia where I live in Australia. It's just, yeah. Hot. So anyway, that's the crew. We've got the crew primed for the labs. We've got those machine guns painted up. And the jerry cans and stuff like that, the fuel cans, uh, machine guns done. So I'm pretty happy with the labs. I think that they're just, I'll just about call them finished. Then I'll just rinse that brush out like the, I do the other ones. I'm just about call those labs finished. You might do a little bit more detail, but for now we'll start to focus on crew. Uh, with the labs and then we'll get back to that Iraqi army build that we've been doing on the other part and had a request to start uh, doing CH-47 Chinook helicopters in micro armor so six millimeter um, 
so that'll probably be the next video we'll look at doing that um ch47 stuff because yeah it's requested by someone so if you've got a request get it in and um if i've got it in stock i'll do it otherwise i've got to order it most of my products come from america japan some from europe so there's about a four week to six week lag in you know someone requesting something i don't have it ordering it getting that order yeah, look at about six weeks so yeah if you've got something i'll put it on the little hit list i've got of builds that people have requested and um, we'll add to that thanks so much for watching sorry about the delay on this video coming out um, but we're back into it and um, i'll catch everyone on the next video see ya